Hello and welcome to TZ Gaming. Today I'll be showing off the special moves to the Skyrim build named the Wet Fang by Murdaloth. For more information, click the link in the description below. The first move is Champion of Molag Baal. By using Vampiric Drain continuously in the left hand, constantly cast while using Power Strikes from the right hand using the Mace of Molag Baal, you not only do a lot of damage because it is a mace and a heavy weapon, but you also drain souls. The next move is Vampire's Fist. This is a synergetic combination of self-sustainment, DPS, as well as keeping your own team alive. Now, being a wet fang, you're allowed to have two thralls, as well as a follower, and at times you can use a special move to be able to have a lot more people in your army. But this is a great way to keep your team sustained without having to constantly raise a thrall, without having to constantly replenish your team. The next move is called Traitor's Irony. It's ironic because of the fact you being undead and using a weapon to kill undead is very powerful, but it doesn't affect you. The game doesn't actually uh, consider it a factor, but it is really good. As you can see, Line of Sight does not affect the proc, which happens on the weapon, and it will attack everyone nearby. It is especially good to use against magic users who are com uh, coming up against him. You can see the crawl is very helpful there, and you can finish off that vampire. The next move is Ice Grip. This is a combination of moves where you use Dual Cast Frost Cloak, which will slow down your opponent. You'll use Elemental Fury to speed yourself up and just hack and slash. The next move is the Crypt Clearer. Now, there are many variations on this, but basically you can accumulate a whole mass of bodies and then resurrect them and have yourself a cool little army to even take on the toughest of opponents like these hawkers here. Enjoy the bloodlet. Don't do that. Now. Don't do that. 